Hi guys, welcome back to C Plus. My name is Nigel, and today we're here with OA, the presentation of Eurovision for 2020, 2021. How are you? Uh, I'm uh, look at me. I'm happy because I'm in Madrid. It's Eurovision pre party, and uh, yes, it's great. Yeah, so she will be performing. OA, the group, she will be performing tonight or not tomorrow, right? Tonight. Ah, tonight, yeah, tonight at the uh, pre party um, as a guest. Um, even though they're not competing in the Eurovision, but uh, they've been in Eurovision um, in theory two years, but it was going to be one year. But uh, let's talk about that later. Uh, how are you feeling about being in Spain and performing tonight with all the Eurovision fans once again? So Eurovision Big Family is a special uh, people for me because uh, it's uh, t it's totally different and very warm uh, audience. And uh, every time when we come back to Eurovision, I'm really happy because uh, I'm really happy to be a part of this family. Yes. So how has been life after Eurovision? Because you were you won a bit in uh, 2020, right? Um, and then, um, you know, the, the, the contest was cancelled and then you went back uh, next year uh, with Shum and you made it to the top five of Eurovision. Yeah. Uh, how were yes. your memories from uh, that year in Rotterdam? Um, Eurovision in Rotterdam was changed our life and uh, we are so happy because uh, after Eurovision, uh, before Eurovision there was no name then from Ukraine. After Eurovision we uh, become to be uh, stars, uh, uh, not only Ukrainian stars and it was very, um, very great moment for us because it was the first time when we were singing in Ukrainian language in Eurovision and in, in Ukrainian people it mattered. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it was really, it was really important uh, for for Ukraine to be in Eurovision, uh, especially um, after your competition. But how was your um, your performance there? What was your impression when you came uh, at high on the in the Eurovision? So, sorry. And someone's birthday, birthday here, and here is happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so much going sorry, on here. Uh, so, uh, we, uh, uh, the question, yeah, yeah. was uh, that what, what was your uh, impression when you um, came um, that high in the Eurovision? Uh, were you expecting it, or um, yeah, what was your, you know, your thought? Uh, we uh, it was like uh, it was our first time when we performed in a big audience, uh, in a big uh, te television audience, and uh, it's, it was uh, a little bit stressful for us because in Ukraine Eurovision is a very important competition and it's like a, it's like a, we, we need to win or die. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you won't have it all time, so you're doing well. Uh, yeah, but. Uh, it was uh, it, it was really interesting experience for us. We met a lot of interesting people. We can speak about uh, uh, a lot of interesting people. We met a new audience, uh, Eurovision, huge family, and uh, it's uh, it was really a great time for us. Nice. Yeah, so you have good memories about that. Yeah. And as you say, that opened a lot of uh, doors for you. And now yeah. you are going on tour all around. You've been already on tour uh, in Europe, but now this year you're going again. Now, right? Uh, in Europe, um, where can we find uh, Gore in the upcoming months, apart from today? So at first uh, we will come to Netherlands, a lot of uh, fans in Netherlands perform. Because you don't wish to Yeah, and uh, uh, also we uh, are going to perform in Germany and at uh, 1st and 2nd March we will be in Madrid and Barcelona. Nice, yeah, so Spanish people can come and see you, yeah. Yes, it is. so tonight it will be uh, the first time when I will perform uh, in uh, Spain, but uh, it's like to... I, I, I'll try to feel the Spanish audience. Yes, the Spanish audience is very warm and very like, passionate about Eurovision, so yes. you will, and, and you know, Spain loves Shum and uh, Salome, so uh, yeah, they will be singing it. Uh, all the words in Ukrainian, even if we don't know what we are saying. Yeah, so, <laughs> so thank you very much. Yes, yeah, so this is a warm up for you for uh, your concerts in Madrid and Barcelona. Uh, and also, what are you working on now? Uh, is there is there, there is any music coming up um, in, in the same style of Salome and um, Shum, or what can we expect from uh, Goy? Uh, so about new music, we are working hard about uh, for this because um, we band in tour and we have uh, we have no time. A lot of time it's, it's, it's a big problem for us, but people are waiting for us and we don't know what to do. But uh, in April we're going to perform a new song with music video. Nice. And uh, now I'm working a lot of, uh, with my solo project and uh, we're trying to make uh, to, to, to finalize new music uh, with. Our 
much. Nice. So yeah, we can wait to hear uh, the new music. Uh, it's very unique because uh, you mix up uh, Ukrainian traditional music with uh, more electronic and um, up to date uh, music. Um, yeah, how was how is, how important is for you to use this like a Ukrainian uh, culture and music in the you know in the international for the international audience? So it's very important for me because it's part of me. Uh, when I was small, uh, my grandmother had seen me in these songs, and uh, I feel that this uh, culture very, very close. Yeah, of course. And uh, I want to share it uh, to another people, to another people in all the world, because uh, uh, when I saw uh, how people are dancing, how people try to sing in different language, and I'm I feel really happy because uh, it's uh, part of my brain, and uh, nobody knows about uh, Ukraine uh, a long time and uh, now uh, everyone speak about Ukraine war uh, but we want to share that Ukraine it's not only war it's not only Chernobyl it's unique culture and uh, we want to share it uh, because it's uh, our culture basics in uh, very important values it's uh, connection with nature yeah. love each other yeah. and uh, I think that we need to speak about it mm. a lot. Yeah, we saw it already in Solovey and uh, Shum that you also have always, you know, your style of singing which is very um, traditional from Ukraine but also you talk always about nature, the bird in Slovenia, and then the nature, like the spring coming, you know, after the winter in, in Shum. So, yeah, it's true that you, in this way you are uh, showing the world Ukrainian culture, which is very, very unique and people know, uh, need to know it. But, yeah, how is your um, opinion or how do you feel about now, um, you know, say like people are always relating Ukraine to the world. Um, how do you feel or how, uh, yeah, what is your opinion on being like the, the voice of Ukraine and telling like, you know, what the culture and everything going on in Ukraine uh, to the world. Are you, uh, how do you use your music to tell the story and, you know, make Ukraine image like more like a nice and famous to the people, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, it's a big responsibility and uh, uh, I know that uh, I need to speak about it. Uh, when we started, uh, we cancelled uh, our tour, we cancelled the my uh, I need to be a part of the country in Iceland and national selection, mm -hmm. but we need to cancel everything, we get to cancel our uh, release and uh, uh, it was, uh, we don't want to, we don't know what we need to do because our uh, songs is about happiness, is about connection, is about positive emotions, but yeah. we feel uh, pain inside us and it was very hard to go to stage. Yeah. Uh, but uh, after our performance in the uh, yeah. It's a big football match. Uh, I understand that uh, it's my. Uh, it's my. Uh, I need to do it. Yeah, it's your mission. Uh, yes, it's my mission because uh, I'm a musician. Uh, I can do everything. I can cook uh, food for uh, people uh, who lost their farms. I can. Uh, uh, I can uh, raise money for people. Uh, it's hard, it's, yeah. Um, I can donate, uh, but uh, music is a power uh, that ca can change uh, our lives. Yeah. Music it changed my life. And, uh, I think that uh, we need to share this. We need to speak about Ukraine, and we need to speak about uh, that Ukraine is not only only people who yeah. 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 uh, Yes, right now we are fighting for our freedom. We can't stop it because if we stop uh, um, Russia. Yeah, we really, yeah we yeah. take over. And, yeah, uh, we we need to uh, to, to we need to we need support right now. But uh, we have uh, a power inside us to share our culture, yeah. to share that we are alive, that we are strong, and uh, that we will win. Yeah, of course, you always been we you know always been fighting and always you know you can is known for that because of different stuff, you know, Chernobyl also happened there. It's like very strong nation, so music is a really good uh, way of showing the people the world uh, that you are still powerful and that you are together. That's the most yes. important part. Um, but yeah, um, and also like uh, the year that the, the, the war started, uh, actually Ukraine won Eurovision. How was your reaction when actually Ukraine won? Uh, were you happy about it, about Carlos Orchestra? Um, then yeah, and also the following years, uh, what was, uh, you been in contact with uh, any of the Ukrainian artists that went to Eurovision? So uh, when uh, Kalush uh, uh, won, uh, people in Ukraine was very happy because it was a very strange hard moment for us. Of course. But it was like a... a it, um, Ukrainian, uh, it, it, it um, motivated us. It's really motivated us and uh, uh, 
it's really uh, a lot of people thinking about oh maybe Ukraine uh, need to um, cancel our uh, performance in Eurovision but, uh, but uh, a lot of people saying that no we need to go on stage and uh, sing in Ukraine and uh, saying that Ukraine still exists and we uh, uh, we're ready to fight it for our freedom so and uh, mm, Yes, nice. And um, final question. Um, this year, Ukraine will be represented by Alena Leona and uh, Gary Hale. Uh, have you had the chance to talk to them? You will meet them today or tomorrow. Uh, yeah, what, what's your opinion of the song? Do you like it? I think it's very Ukrainian and the message is also really strong. But yeah, tell us about this year participation in Eurovision. So, uh, after uh, national selection, I don't uh, met uh, these girls, but we met in Liverpool. Uh, we speak, uh, so we. Uh, we know each other, and uh, one year ago we were thinking about cooperation. But now uh, it's uh, a moment for uh, Eurovision, so we yeah. need to have a lot of time for this. Uh, but uh, uh, I think uh, that uh, after our performance in Eurovision in Ukrainian language, in Ukraine, we start a trend. And a lot of people go to national selection and see it in Ukrainian language. In Ukraine, yes. <laughs> and uh, when we go to Eurovision, a lot of Ukrainian people say, Oh no, you need to translate your song in English yes. because nobody understands. Send you, but now when artists go to uh, national selection, Ukrainian people say, "Why are they say it in English? You need to we sing need in Ukrainian." Yeah. Yes, we need to, to use Ukrainian folklore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, you made a trend, you know, like uh, because yeah. you were so successful uh, yeah. in your year. I think like people really saw that. Yeah. You can win with the uh, Ukrainian. You can be successful in Eurovision with Ukrainian language. Uh, yes, uh, I think that uh, uh, it was my plan to to share for Ukrainian people that Ukrainian music is good, that we can sing in our own language yeah. and it's okay. People understand us, and we uh, need to be. Uh, we, we don't uh, need to to change our. And to be proud of it. Yes, language. yes. To, uh, uh, we made this song. We don't don't think about Eurovision. Okay. We need, uh, we don't think it okay, we need to make a song, you know, we should go on this, and it, uh, it has some rules, we need to dance like this, and uh, make uh, <laughs> look like this. and play back like this, yes, uh, look like this. Uh, we just to be, uh, I just be myself. And Stay true to yourself. Yes, and it's... Uh, it's important, I think. Uh, you, you don't need to change. Uh, yes, you, you need to change yourself to better, 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 the, and uh, work uh, harder. Uh, but uh, you don't. Uh, you, you need to remember who you are, yeah. and it's it's really important because when you go to stage and when you share your um, emotions, your, your true emotions, uh, people feel it. Yeah. And so I think that uh, your vision uh, has uh, us to be. Um, um, oh my God! I forgot this. Uh, Unique or like a? What do you mean, like a? Uh, Anya, no, you are aware of Oh yes. Your vision helped us to find yes. confidence. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yes. And be proud and be confident of your language and your. Uh, yes. Yes. Your true, you know culture, uh, you know, like your unique culture. Okay, nice. So yeah, thank you so much uh, um, for your time, for the interview. We can wait to uh, see you in the tour, in the European tour. Also, uh, hear your new songs coming up. Um, before we go, um, Jaco you for the, for the interview. And um, if you can send a message to uh, the people who are following uh, Go A since 2020 and still uh, watching your performances and following you, that would be amazing. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. You changed our life. Yeah. Thanks. Bye.